Yeah, my name is Gary Mahan and I represent the Mahan Collection and Foundation. Our uh, typical mission is to save and preserve antique trucks for future generations to uh, see and experience. And as an aside, we got involved with the New Jersey Battleship Group uh, to restore a 40 millimeter Bofor gun that was once on the ship. So behind me you can see the actual gun that we've brought to our location for uh, restoration. We've carefully dissected different gearboxes to release mechanisms so that the entire barrel unit or gun unit will swivel and also elevate up and down all four barrels and that's been a real challenge over the last couple weeks. The unit weighs about 12 tons in total the way it sits on a little white trailer here and uh, the next phase after we uh, got all the gearboxes functioning will be to take it to our sandblast area, sandblast it down to bare metal, primer coat, uh, several coats of primer coat, epoxy primer coat, and then one or two top coats of epoxy so that this thing will be reserved for the next uh, many, many decades as a display piece back in uh, southern New Jersey at the Battleship New Jersey uh, boat site. All right, when we first got the barrel, there was a missing drive shaft between this point and this point. As you can see, we took off the original crank handle, which was broken. We rigged up a jury rig, a temporary crank, and we went around through all the gearboxes and put penetrating oil in the gearboxes to get everything freed up. As you can see, it's fairly easy uh, as long as Brian eats his Wheaties. <laughs> so that's the swivel mechanism. And we greased up the turn, the, the turntable bearings have multiple grease fittings, so we pumped fresh grease in, got all the rollers moving once again. And we did the same thing on the opposite side, which raises and lowers the barrels uh, in sync. But initially we had to dissect because both sides of this unit are driven with DC motors through gearboxes, so we had to dissect some of the couplings to figure out which gearbox was really problematic and stopping it from uh, going up or down or rotating. We did the same function on the other side, took the handle off, and that raises and lowers the barrel. There we go. Be careful, Rich. You have to move Yeah. Put it on the other side. Yeah. 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 What we did on this side, we removed the, uh, the, the up and down function handle replaced it with a, uh, a large uh, electric reversing drill and this gives us the torque necessary to, to raise the barrels up and down so I'll demonstrate that at this point. That's uh, what we did to get all the gears working. There was obviously old paint and build up in some of the gears and, and gunk in the in the, uh, in the grease. So we've uh, put uh, penetrating oil in some of the gearboxes and moved, uh, been able to move the barrels up and down. They're moving a lot smoother today than they did even a week ago. Uh, some of this stuff we wound up putting a three or four foot long wrench on. Uh, some of the couplings to actually break it loose because it hasn't moved since the 60s, as I, as I understand. So that's what we've uh, done. And then we've also disassembled the seat mechanisms because of, uh, of rust and, and buildup. Uh, all the seats were frozen and locked in a whatever position they were left in back in the 60s. So we freed those seats up so they can go up and down, and hopefully we can get some kids on here in the future. And we think that a mini gearbox might be appropriate on this side so that smaller kids can easily, more easily crank, uh, crank the barrels up and down because uh, we can't make uh, my guy Brian available all the time. <laughs> He's starting to lean now. <laughs> oh man! <laughs>
Get the shell, it's still smoking. <laughs> <laughs>